Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Toka 2 Touring Cars. As you can see, today we are not driving touring cars. Here I was able to unlock in the Support Car Championship this Lister Storm car. The brand is Lister, the model is Storm. It's not that famous car anymore, but it used to be in the 90s. I believe uh, this is the closest you can get to a GT3 car in Toka 2 Touring Cars. And this is a really, really fun car to drive. As you can see, we are also in a new section of the Olden Park track. We are in Olden Park, but we are in the international layout. I believe I unlocked this layout in the Expert Mode Championship. And as you can see, this car is so fast. But the AI is driving them with some level of competence. Maybe not as well as they drive the touring cars, but certainly they are pushing for it in expert difficulty. And you'll see by the last times that the AI will be doing together with me. So the car is a little bit different. It's a rear-wheel drive car and I'm uh, going for a 10 lap race instead of a longer race because the replay timer is limited to 15 minutes so there was a moment where I tried out having a 20 lap race on the big track and the replay just stops midway through um, I think you can even save the replays but even then the replays will be limited to 15 minutes I almost spun out there, as you can see if you have too much throttle going into a turn. And again, this car really wants the rear wheels to come alive, because it's rear wheel traction. And you can definitely feel it. I think I've done uh, some video or live stream on the support car championship where I'm not winning every race because sometimes you have to restart the whole championship if you mess up on one race but I had enough points to unlock all the cars. I'm not sure if uh, winning everything on the support car championship would unlock anything else. This track is really really fun, but uh, because it's so scary to drive this fast on this track and especially on this difficulty and I don't think the AI are interested in going to the pits even if I had a 20 lap race the AI, I think they would not pit or even go to change the tires if the weather changed so I left the weather on sunny weather and with the fixed weather so we can race safely and try to do our best. Even then it's not easy as you can see. We are in last position and we are almost a third into the race. And again I didn't want to crash into him to damage the car because if you drive cars that are faster and they crash faster and they are heavier you can get more damage to the engine and to the car in general I believe uh, we already have the front splitter and the front aero damage As you guys can see, I'm doing this with a voiceover instead of talking during the race because this race was so difficult. It was one of the most difficult races I ever done in this game. And I had to do a couple of attempts on it because I had to adapt and adjust to driving this car and this track. It's not easy, but we were able to get to We almost got uh, a little bit of contact there. Mm -hmm. 
I wish I had more GT3 type cars, more different cars to mix on the grid instead of having a grid that's only made of one car. It's hard to have cars that perform all equally. At the same time, we only have 10 cars on the track instead of the 20 that we get. Oh, I believe I left the weather changing. So now it's raining. I forgot I had done this. So this is going to make the race even more interesting. Now I understand why this race was so difficult. I didn't remember. As you can see, we have to start driving slower there, and even then we were almost spinning. I started to hear the tires. Somehow we were made. Uh, we were able to make uh, a faster lap, but it's still a bit crazy. I think uh, that I could be almost as fast with uh, touring cars on certain tracks or depending on the track just because you are able to push harder on a touring car than on this car because of the rear wheel drive and the weight of course we got more speed and a bit more weight so sometimes it's harder to make the car stop you have to brake a bit more be more careful with the brake. The first time I was trying to drive the car on this track, if you brake too much and you turn too much, you'll end up spinning quite easily. Here I had to worry about uh, adding some downforce as well. But even then I can see that uh, the car has almost a stock setup. I didn't change too much. So now we did another fastest lap. 1 minute 22 seconds, almost 23. But it's still insane. I think the rain has stopped so now we will be able to push a little bit more you can see the car really wants to spin on that banked part of the circuit uh, in real life people call this circuit the green hell of England because it's a bit like a mini version of the Nürburgring for real life drivers uh, it's a pretty dangerous star and it has some crazy parts, some really really like uh, high-end speed turn, lots of elevation changes and banking on some parts, like the next uh, corner there. Of course it's not like it is Nürburgring, which is a way more complex circuit, but it's still really, really amazing. And the level of detail that these guys were able to put out in 98 for this game was really, really amazing. I remember how I was impressed as a kid. Again we are getting some rain and also the lights turn on. I can see this rain might be a bit heavy. We have a lot of water splashing out uh, behind the cars. Funny 
opinion of the fastest part of the circuit was very scary for me and I was always very worried about it. Maybe that was helpful to avoid spinning there because when you go into those corners so fast and you cannot uh, turn as much because you are going so fast that you don't have as much grip available it's pretty easy to spin doing sometimes corrections and adjustments on the steering that seem small in the moment especially compared to how much we have to turn here so we finally got to first place the AIs were a bit uh, off the pace It was still difficult to get from the end to the beginning of the field, especially during the middle of the race. Yeah, I was driving not too bad. I believe maybe the rain slowed them down a bit, or maybe the tire wear. Maybe I chose intermediate tires for this setup. If I had changeable weather, it would make sense. So that we can be able to at least drive at the moderate pace on any conditions. You saw there that the tires were squishing a bit when we were braking. That's what happens when you break and you start to change direction. You have to share the grip between braking and changing direction. Still racing here in the rain, it's incredible. Now we cannot see them behind us, so we might be having a nice uh, time advantage. Now all we need to do is to not mess up, maybe drive a little bit more carefully and the victory is out. I don't remember if I changed too much on the suspension of the car to be able to adapt to all the elevation changes. I ended up cutting that part of the video by accident. <laughs> or maybe not even recording it. As you can see, the car fights with us, but we are uh, able to win this race. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please leave your comments, like and subscribe to the channel if you want to enjoy more of this content. Thank you very much for watching guys.